we've been learning all about time and we're now going to learn how to tell the time to the nearest minute. Yes, we are doing exactly what Mr. S said. We're reading time to the nearest minute. Yesterday, poof, it's back. We looked at o'clock, quarter past, half past and quarter two. But what about all those places in between? Well, the big numbers on a clock symbolise our hours. They are our scale. But on a, a clock as well, because we have two hands, there's technically an invisible scale called the minute scale. Now, some clocks do show this with tiny little dashes like that. And each one of those dashes is a single minute. But some clocks don't even put them on there. They expect you to know that there are 60 minutes in an hour. You can work out how many minutes have passed using the hour scale, but with your minute hand. And that is because if there are 60 minutes in an hour and we've got 12 large intervals that signify our hour, well, if we break our 60 minutes into 12, we'll find that each of these points represents five minutes. So if we work our way around a clock, we've got five, 10, 15, or quarter, 20, 25, 30, or half past, 35, 40, 45, quarter two, 50, 55, and finishing off our full hour with 60 minutes. So as our minute hand travels around, if we know how to count in fives, we can read a clock far more accurately. So let's just place our clock in a position that we could recognize. Right, here we go. Let's use our skills from Monday. Are we past or two? Well, we're past an hour. So let's place that on the board. Which hour have we just passed? Well, we've just passed three. Okay, so we're past three. Now, let's travel in a clockwise direction, starting at zero. That's very important because everybody forgets that and they, they start, start at five, five and they get it wrong and we get cross and we scream and tear our hair out and we cry. Start, start at zero. zero. And we're going to count round in fives using our hour intervals to see how many minutes we are past. Here we go. Zero. Five. Ten. Oh, there you go. Our minute yeah. hand is at where it would be. Ten minutes. We know it's pointing at the two. Remember, the two is for the hour, so we don't say two past three because that two behind that two is the minute scale and that is 10 minutes so now we place that into our time and this is 10 past three let's try another time that is past the hour so we have a look at the minute hands and it's on this side so we know it's past so that's the first thing we put in when telling the time it's something past something now let's work out which hour it's gone past that's the next easiest bit to work out and the hour hand has just gone past eight Okay, just gone past eight. So we know it's something past eight. So now we're gonna go one bit to figure out. So we go up to the top and start at zero. Zero. And we count round. Five, 10, 15, or quarter, 20, 25. So it's 25 past eight. Simple enough. Now it is, when we're doing past times, it is dead simple. Do be careful though, that if you land on 15 past, that you call it a special name quarter past, or if you land on 30 past, you call it its special name, half past. But let's have a look. He said, but. <laughs> Again, second time this week. You're being so rude. Let's have a look at our two times, because this is where it can get a little bit tricky and we have to break the laws of time. Well, it's not that dramatic. It's actually, I think it's just as easy as long as you remember one important thing. Okay. Let's take a look at this one. Tell the time, there are three things you've got to say. A number, two or past, and then another number. So we have to figure out three things. The middle one, two or past, is the easiest. Which half of the clock is it on? This side, so it's two. So it's something, two, something. The next easiest bit to work out is the hour. So let's see which hour is our hour hand gonna go to next, because it's on the two side. And it's gonna go to 10. So it's something, two, 10. So the final bit we need to work out is how many minutes until it gets to 10. Oh, now that's important. How many minutes until it gets to 10? Yeah. So and we're trying to figure out the remainder of the journey. Not how long the journey's been so far from the minute hand all the way around the face, but how long is left on the journey. And it really isn't that different from what you were doing for the past. You've just got to remember which way around to go. So here, we start at zero, but we're not working out how many minutes have passed. We're actually working out how many minutes it is until o'clock. So, so we go anti-clockwise. We turn time backwards. We, we could possibly mess with the time travel space intervention. Calm down. We're not turning any time backwards. Oh. This is just our way of helping us count. I mean, you could count that way around and then subtract it from 60, but that's an unnecessary step. So we just start here instead and we count in our fives and we go five, 10, 15, 20. So it's 20 to 10. Simple enough, I think. I'll try one more then. Okay, 
Let's look at the minute hand, are we past or two? We're two. What hour are we past or two? I'll look at my hour hand, we're going two, four. Okay, now, as Mr. S said, because we're going two, we count backwards, still in fives, so zero, five. Oh, I'm gonna do it. Oh, I'm five minutes, two, four. It's five minutes until I get two, four. Nice and easy. Well, that's your task for today. Follow those three steps. Use the skill from Monday, my past or two. Then what hour am I past or two? And then count in fives. But also remember yesterday's lesson, that if you land on any of our special numbers, quarter past, half past, or quarter two, then you must, or o'clock, then you must call it by those names. Let us know how you got on. We'll see you later.